zijn vandaag bij Nintendo om de allernieuwste Red Steel 2 te gaan checken. Een titel van Ubisoft die hier bij Nintendo getoond wordt. Dus ik ben heel benieuwd. My name is Jason Vandenberg en ik ben de creative director van Red Steel 2. Red Steel 2? Wat is de game about? Sword fighting! First person sword fighting. Yeah, we just saw. Is there a, a storyline uh, you have to follow? Yes, indeed. Uh, you are um, you're playing uh, our hero. Uh, he's a Kusagari, uh, which is a clan of defenders that have been protecting this part of the this alternate version of the Nevada desert. Uh, and his clan has been attacked. Uh, his, he's returned home uh, to discover that his clan has been attacked, and he has to. Um, uh, uh, Defend his town against these attackers and, and find out what's going on. Um, the story centers around the hero's sword, which turns out to be a lot more important than he uh, than he thought. Uh, and we meet the villain and we progress from there. Uh, just one town, or is there a bigger area? So the the whole story takes place in I say uh, in and around uh, the town of Caldera. Um, the the town the town and the county <laughs> are called uh, Caldera. Um, we start the first half of the game takes place sort of in the in the city, but it's a fairly large city, so there's lots of different places we can go there. Um, uh, different styles, you know, sort of uh, Japanese temples and you know more more rundown places, and then Wild West style sections and that sort of thing. Um, and then in the later half, the second half of the game, we go out into the desert um, and explore. Or the, the 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 areas surrounding Caldera, and going to the canyons. Um, there's a there's a mining town, and we sort of we go underground and see the and find the uh, the Kusagari uh, ancestral temple. You just mentioned uh, sword fighting, but there's a gun in there as well. Sword and gun, man, sword and gun, and, uh, and um, uh, this time uh, in Red Steel 2, you can use your sword and your gun at any time. There's no weapon switching between the two. You don't. There's no sections where you only get you only you can sword fight anywhere, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I think. I don't know. Uh, you tell me, actually. You know whether that's cool. Um, uh, you have combos uh, that use the sword, um, but the game really centers around this melee fight and being a badass. Uh, I call him a, a, a sword slinger, uh, being a badass sword slinger at the center of the at the center of the melee. Um, if uh, if Red Steel One was a, a first person shooter, then Red Steel Two I think is a first person brawler. Uh, Wii Motion Plus, of course, is in there. Was it a big hooray for you when uh, Nintendo uh, announced Wii Motion Plus? Well, we already had it uh, when they announced it, <laughs> so <laughs> we knew. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, the, the, the Wii Motion Plus actually changed the game. It, it gave us this game. Um, the, the game is Wii Motion Plus exclusive. Um, you need the Wii Motion Plus to play. Uh, you can buy it bundled with the game, um, or, or you can buy it uh, separate as well. Um, and uh, uh, it, it really makes the game possible. Uh, this, this Wii Motion Plus experience uh, is what lets us do this first person sword, bam, 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 and really make you feel like you have, that, th that your Wiimote is a sword. The sword is really cool. Uh, are there going to be any other swords than the first sword? Um, so your sword, the hero's sword is actually crucial to the story, it's sort of the core weapon and it turns out to be the one that has, has the ability to do certain powers that you, that you need to sort of progress in your game. So the, the, the hero will center around that one sword. Um, he does actually lose the sword in the opening cinematic though, <laughs> so uh, he starts out in the beginning of the game with uh, his, his master's like backup spare katana. Um, and actually uh, if you pre-order, uh, there's two other uh, skinned, uh, two other sword skins that are two of the swords that you can unlock uh, in the game that are both uh, of this family of swords. This, the swords are a family of swords called Katana Sora, mm -hmm. um, and they were forged by this, this um, particular um, uh, swordsmith, and they all have these particular powers. Uh, so you can unlock them, in the, unlock them in the game if you want. Okay, yeah, we just saw the single player. Is there going to be any multiplayer? Nope, no multiplayer, no co-op. It's something that we really wanted to do for sure. And if I get a, another chance to make, uh, you know, the, the, the next the next one, uh, for sure, I'm gonna I'm gonna push to make multiplayer top of the list. But um, for this game, we needed to focus on um, getting a single player right. We got the Wii Motion Plus, you know, about. Uh, uh, two years ago, 18 months ago, and um, at the time, I mean that 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 meant we had about a year <laughs> to get it right, uh, and that meant we need to focus on just single player um, uh, to make sure that we could um, achieve uh, the, our quality goals because we wanted to make sure that the game was was uh, was really fun. Um, when will the game be out? Uh, March 25th.
De dag is ondertussen ten einde en we zijn net klaar met Red Steel 2. We hebben het een, een half uurtje kunnen spelen, gepraat met de creative director. En uh, ja, we zijn redelijk enthousiast over het spel. Misschien zelfs wel echt enthousiast over het spel. Dus uh, lees snel onze impressie om erachter te komen wat wij ervan vonden. En uh, wacht anders op de recensie eind maart. Dit was Jeffrey Vergeel, XGN, Nieuwe Gein.